looking forward to about this upcoming uh, football season? Um, just the opportunity to uh, prove ourselves. Uh, we felt like we underachieved last year uh, and we had the team, you know, to, to do better. But this year, you know, adding, adding people, adding transfers and even more experience uh, under our belt should give us the opportunity to do that. Perfect. We're going to go to some questions here then. Adam Wells, WPSD, uh, you're up first. How beneficial has it been for you guys to have a summer off-season workout program comparing to not have one last year? <laughs> um, very beneficial. It, it, that, that, um, that, can, that can completely change your body um, and your preparation going into the season. You know, football is a, a physical game. So uh, having your body built up and uh, having that arm on is, is important. Coach was talking about how on the offensive side of the ball, you guys are kind of sad at all the skill positions and the offensive line with the experience coming back there. But obviously at quarterback, he said, you're, you know, you have two guys that are trying to battle it out. How much responsibility do you take it on yourselves and maybe some of the other skill guys that can, they can help those quarterbacks trying to get their reps and figure out who can, you know, take a big step forward? Um, well, personally, I mean, we, we just we just try to come out here every day that we can and throw the ball around, and just get on the same page. Uh, we're both, we're, we all try to do the same thing with both quarterbacks. Uh, we started, you know, our little uh, group chat where we, we meet here at 6 a.m. in the morning and, and, you know, work on what we're going to work on later, on that, later that day just so it runs smoother. So uh, we're, we're, we're taking strides to make sure everything runs smoothly and we don't miss, uh, miss a beat. How much pride do you guys take in as a receiving core, or as a, a skill set, a uh, skill core that you guys are have so much expectations uh, for yourselves going into the season? Uh, we try to make sure we set the standard high. Uh, everybody um, knows what, what we're expected to do, and we come out here and work to make sure that we meet those expectations and uh, never, never, allow to, never let our teammates down. Rodney, from how I, how I understand it, and correct me if I'm wrong, you know, you, you were wide receiver, you became a tight end. There's not a lot of difference in, in, the, in the schemes, really, because you're all catching passes. But talk about that transition from you. And obviously people, they saw it. You were an All-American last year. But just that transition, calling yourself a tight end now and, and, and your, your fellow receivers that you have on the team. Um, yeah, it, it took a lot of hard work. Um, when Coach Simp first brought the idea to me, because we were so stacked in the receiver room, just the best way to get everybody on the field and everybody, you know, able to to produce. Um, he brought it to me, and and you know, I just took it in and took it on full steam, and believed in what he wanted me to do, and took you know took my time in the weight room to put on the weight needed, and just to make sure that everything went smoothly, so that so you know the offense doesn't doesn't miss anything. And then just you know you have. Colton and uh, and Denal, a lot a lot of off players back from the receiving core. Just how do you complement each other, and especially now that you all played that that season just a couple months ago together into this year? Um, I think the best thing about it is we're, we're it's it's not it's not there are no egos in that in that room. Uh, we all want to see each other succeed, and we're willing to do whatever we can for the next man to, to succeed. Whether it be you know run a route to get my teammate open or or block somebody so that my teammate Gene can, you know, catch the bubble and get as many yards as he can. And, you know, that just that's that mindset of uh, we'll do it together. Not, no, no one man wants to outshine the other is, is the reason we're so successful. Let's go to uh, Van Stokes from the Austin P Radio Network. Ronnie, as, as you look at uh, the tight ends at the next level uh, and the receivers, who do you really like to watch and who would you really like to pattern yourself after? Oh, most definitely Cal Pitts. Um, that's that's my guy right there. I watch a lot of Cal Pitts. Um, I'm hoping that you know that success he's had in college can continue to NFL, so they can open up the door for more, you know, guys with our body type, and uh, you know, in our play style. So that that's that's my that's my guy that I like to watch. Okay, thank you. Anybody else? Any questions for Rodney? We got time for one more or so. I'll end it within uh, this question then. You know, now you're a graduate student, you've been at UTM for a while. Just what's been the best part of your experience so far uh, as a Skyhawk? Uh, most definitely my teammates, um, especially since, you know, Mars not the biggest town. Um, you really only, you really just have each other to, to you know, lean on and, and, and develop those relationships with. Um, so, you know, just, just being able to do that, we all, you know, pretty much live close to each other. Like, you know, me and Colton stay, 
you know, Colton lives right under me. So it's, it's, it's easy for us to, you know, kick it at any time or, or do anything. So just building that cohesiveness and that relationship and bond with my teammates has definitely been, you know, the best part of being here. Well, we appreciate you taking time to join us this, uh, this afternoon now, and best of luck to your uh, team this year. Well, thank you.